Charles Cully Stimson is a leading expert in criminal law, military law, the military commissions and detention policy. He's at the Heritage Foundation Center for Legal and Judicial Affairs. Before joining Heritage in 07, Stimson served as Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Detainee Affairs. This is a man who knows what he's talking about. Cully, thanks for taking the time. Mr. Secretary, good to be on your show. Well, I'm sure we calling you Mr. Secretary. <laughs> you, you were in more recently than I was. Cully, t- help us parse this thing out. First off, a- am I describing correctly what they're telling, uh, w- the mechanisms for he- for what's going on with Congress? And, and just tell us what they're sending to Congress in terms of what they're supposed to send and what they're supposed to be doing in, in the federal court. What's the mechanisms here? Yeah, the, there's two uh, mechanisms, and you were right uh, as you laid them out. Congress was concerned uh, because they have uh, nimbyitis, not in my backyard itis, <laughs> uh, that the administration may try to push these guys to the United States. So they denied funding for any closure of Gitmo pending a specific policy. Uh, and they also said, look, you guys got to give us 15 days before uh, you transfer anybody. Now, it is entirely within the executive branch's prerogative to determine who should be transferred and who shouldn't. That was in, true in our administration, the Bush administration, that's true in theirs. So, on the one side, the administration makes a determination, okay, we're going to transfer these guys, we're going to prove them for transfer, uh, and so therefore we have to comply with Congress and we have to give them notification of, you know, detaining A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. Well, okay, fine. But they're also, at the same time, uh, having to respond to these constitutional challenges in the district court here in Washington, the habeas process. So the administration may, and we don't know because they haven't been transparent in this, uh, may on the one hand be saying, okay, on the Taney A case before the habeas court, um, we think he should not be let go because he's really bad and here are all the bad things he did. And a judge will say, because they've lost 29 of the 33 cases they've had in, this, in the district court, the government has, um, the judge says, no, nope, let him go. So that same detainee, detainee A, that they were five weeks ago saying, hey, he's really dangerous, now in the notification of Congress, uh, they're watering down uh, what they were saying in court. In fact, all they're saying is, here's his name, here's the number, the random number he was assigned when he was first picked up, and uh, he's been approved uh, because they're afraid that if Congress saw, or potentially afraid that if Congress saw what they were saying in their sealed documents before court, some congressman may pop up and say, whoa, wait, 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 you just said this five weeks ago. Now, we don't know whether this is happening. Maybe what's happening, Jed, uh, is, you know, they're, they're um, arguing uh, strongly in court that he should be detained, um, and none of those cases have moved over to the transfer pile yet in the notification pile. I doubt it. I think that probably there has been some spillover, and your story, I think, highlights uh, that very possibility. They're they're obviously concerned that Congress is going to meddle with their decision. Yeah, I mean, the thing, and, and, you know, you can't, I guess I can only ask you to comment on one of my what my sources were telling me, and these are people who are involved in yep. the process. Yep. And what they're telling me is, with respect to the to the very same people, you know, you're, the Congress is getting a smiley face report, and and the court is getting properly, I guess, a a very different picture, saying, "Holy cow, you can't let these guys loose." So what you know, the Congress, you know, is a is a judge going to get upset by the fact that they're giving different stories or, you know, Congress, you're, I mean, you're right. The, the executive branch has the control of this stuff, but, you know, how can Congress really do anything to, to set this record straight? Well, I don't think a judge is going to interfere because the, the notifications to the Hill uh, are not uh, under oath. Um, they're not sworn documents. It's just, and the administration sees that as, as purely administrative, that well, all you have to do is tell them the name and very little else. Um, but, but, you know, the, the, the danger here is that, um, uh, and this happened in our administration, too, that they, they push these transfer names over to the Congress. Congress doesn't even blink an eye because the administration's made the decision. These guys go back to com- combatant activity. I mean, we know darn well that there's a, high, you know, a fairly uh, robust recidivism rate of these guys. And what's really going on here, Jed, is that they're trying as hard as they can to meet that January closure date, Yet they haven't laid out, to anyone's satisfaction, Democrats or Republicans, a detailed plan. They've kicked the can down the road. And so this is a quiet way 
to get as many guys off the island as they can. Um, and again, we don't know for sure whether the ones the judges ordered released are the same names going to Congress, but well, I suspect they are. All right, we've only got one minute left, yeah. but let me let me give you two real quick questions. Yeah. I mean, you were the the DS DASD for detainee affairs. Yeah. Uh, I think you can tell us a uh, are the guys down there really no kidding dangerous, and b how can the government really do what they're doing and put a smiley face on this without placing American lives in danger? A, yes. B, um, this is a time when at least transparency within the halls of government should matter. And the administration uh, needs to take a, a more collaborative view towards their notification requirements. They can't just give Congress the name uh, because ultimately this could come back to bite Congress and then the American people, if they're trying to close this uh, without a fuller uh, understanding of who they're trying to let out the door. Charles Cully Stimson, one of my best friends, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense, formerly for Detainee Affairs on Gitmo. Thanks for joining us. Jed Babin for Fred.